Hi. <laughs> We're here with the Cyan Showcase, uh, streaming with a bunch of game writers and developers, uh, most of whom uh, work on Cyan and don't get a chance to play this game nearly enough. Uh, I'm Hiromi, uh, they, them. I'm the line developer for Cyan, as well as writer and developer for various uh, uh, games, uh, some some not in Onyx Path. Uh, <laughs> I'm coming to you from uh, Coast, uh, Coast Salish, uh, Stiliguamish, Snohomish, and uh, Suquamish lands. Uh, I'm the storyteller for this game, and uh, now it's time for you to learn a little bit about uh, my players. Uh, David, uh, tell us who you are, what you do, who you're playing, and whether they've been in a life and death fight before. Cool. Uh, I am David Castro. I am a writer and developer for Scion, uh, as well as other uh, Onyx Path games and other games outside of Onyx Path. Um, I am playing Damien De La Cruz, and uh, I, I have not fought for my life before. I've lived a very cushy, rich boy life. Don't, don't worry about me typing this information. It's, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> means nothing. It, it's nothing. Uh, uh, Jeffrey, uh, who are you? What do you do? Who are you playing? And have they been in a life from death struggle before? Uh, hello, I'm Jeffrey. He, him. I'm a writer for Scion who has not yet become a developer for Scion, and, and playing playing <laughs> Mitch Hewlett, the golden retriever that walks like a man. Um, <laughs> and he has absolutely never been in a life or death struggle before. It would make him sad if it ever happened. And be because this is Scion, I feel like we have to clarify Mitch is not actually a golden retriever <laughs> that can walk like a man. No. <laughs> Just the sweetest I'm sorry. Boy. Yes, we it do have to clarify that. It is technically possible to play that character. Uh, it requires using denizens, which do not have, like, uh, deep rules made available yet. That's coming. Yes. Uh, but that's not what's happening. <laughs> Metaphorical golden retriever. Yes, yes, I should clarify. Uh, uh, Spider, uh, who are you? What do you do? Who are you playing? And have they been in a life and death struggle before? I am Spider Perry, he, they, and I am a writer for many Onyx Path lines, not yet a developer for one. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, I also run Nerdy Kepi, which uh, makes quality queerware. That is my day job. Um, I am playing Elijah Khan, who is a um, Jewish transmasculine civil rights lawyer, which is why it's not me. Um, and uh, given Elijah's uh, upbringing, I would say, I don't know life and death, like in a fight, but I know that they have definitely been in life or death situations before because um, they grew up in difficult, wherever mom dragged them, basically you know, which is usually places that they were in danger. I got it all, right? Yeah, I got it all. <laughs> uh, and uh, Michaela, uh, who are you? What do you do? Who are you playing? And have they been in a life and death struggle before? Hello, I'm Michele Mazala. Uh, I'm from Italy, as you can hear from my accent, which I can make even sound even worse. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I wrote for the Chronicles of Darkness for uh, the, the They Came From line. I'm also the developer of uh, They Came From Cyclopsy Scale. Uh, I haven't worked for uh, Scion, but uh, I'm a fan and uh, I'm a fan yet. <laughs> and uh, I love mythology, so I'm happy to be here. As from where they came, I come from, uh, I use this example because it's wonderful. If you ever seen Disney's Luca, I'm from right there, but, but we don't have uh, fish people or uh, we can't go live under the sea. Otherwise, I'll be there, but hey, can't have it all. Uh, and that's me. Ah, oh, yes, I'm my character. I'm playing Elena Rapacini, uh, they, them. 
And uh, I can say that uh, my divine parent is Veles of the Bogovi, uh, a god uh, with a rather large purview of uh, <laughs> uh, of powers and interests that range from uh, death to the the wilderness and many other things we'll see as we go in game. Uh, and has Helena been in a life and death struggle before? Oh, right. The question. I think they don't, but they have still been very close to some dangerous situation. Perhaps not enough to call those uh, life or death uh, moments. Makes sense. All right, cool. Uh, so uh, would anyone like to take a stab at recap? Or uh, should I do that thing? All right, David, David, go for it. So last time on this stream, um, we uh, had a bunch of separate adventures in uh, three different parts of the country. Uh, my character did a really quick heist of a museum. Uh, <laughs> Jeffries prevented a heist of a museum different museum and uh <laughs> nah, lied to some cops um <laughs> and then we uh and then they uh encountered a really mean white lady or at least a being appearing as a mean white lady uh got in a fight that teleported them across the country to Boston. And then I teleported less far, still to Boston. And now we're dealing with said mean white lady in Boston. Yeah. Uh, and after looking at the uh, footage for uh, last session, I realized that uh, not only were my fingers too slippery to do uh, my snap change properly. But when I dried my fingers and tried it a second time, you couldn't actually see the snap change. And so I feel like I have to demonstrate that I actually can do a fucking snap change. <laughs> That's fair. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> this just makes it look like I'm shit at magic. <laughs> I'm mediocre at magic. I'm not shit. <laughs> Also, magic is fun. It is. It is fun. Uh, so yeah, uh, that is a pretty solid uh, recap of what happened. Uh, Super Karen was apparently in two different cities, uh, hassling uh, two different uh, Zions. And uh, when when we left off, uh, uh, Mitch, Damien, and Helena uh, were all in the uh, Museum of Fine Art in Boston. And while uh, Super Karen had been placated by sending her to the uh, gift shop to get uh, all, everything that the gift shop had, uh, she currently has apparently everything that the gift shop has in just a series of bags hanging off of one hand and a giant S-shaped sword in the other hand as heavy winds are coming off of her. And uh, it is very clear that uh, she is more than human, which everyone has at least heard of being a thing uh, and I probably should have also asked if uh, the char your characters have actually had firsthand experience seeing uh, the supernatural. So uh, let's let's actually go around real fast and do that. Uh, Michaela, uh, has Helena seen supernatural things firsthand? I mean, besides mm. being thrown across the country. <laughs> uh, previously than last session okay uh, no i don't think i have uh, it's uh, a first uh, this time so uh, this being the 
Sion setting, uh, the idea that mythical uh, creatures exist and the gods are there, isn't as secret, isn't there is not an hidden world and everything. But uh, this time, uh, it's uh, a new experience for Elena. Yeah. Yeah, uh, for for viewers, uh, Scion setting is the world, capital D, capital world. Uh, the existence of uh, gods and supernatural creatures and mythical beings is not a secret, but that doesn't mean that everyone has daily encounters with such things. Uh, because if they did, then your characters wouldn't be interesting. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's always possible that uh, characters start the game going, oh, Scions, yeah, I, I, I know what those are. I, I've, I met one, like, my friend from high school turned out to be one, and then, like, got got evaporated by <laughs> by a searcher or something listen uh, <laughs> my girlfriend in high school was definitely a scion but she was from canada so you do you don't know her yeah she's it's a, a I, model it's a whole thing as long as she doesn't turn into the moon you're all right so oh that's rough buddy <laughs> Uh, uh, Spider, uh, has Elijah uh, encountered uh, supernatural things before? You know, I I think that he has, but I think that it's probably, uh, I don't think he has any sort of structured awareness. Like, it's probably he's seen stuff, but doesn't have, like, maybe the proper names or, you know, there's a lot of uh, things that he could probably write things off as before thinking, you know, um, that it is actually what it is, even if that's just contextualizing it in, you know, Jewish mythology or, you know, whatever. I think probably, yes, but I, I don't think that he, like, knows what scions are or anything. Okay. Uh, Jeffrey? Um, similarly, I think uh, Mitch doesn't have any direct experience, but he's from a reasonably devout Theoi worshipping family who are in for a big surprise when he gets his visitation. <laughs> um, so he's he's grown up with a lot of stories of heroes and, you know, is probably going to frame everything in kind of Greek mythic terms. Um, so, yeah. But this will all be exciting for him. Uh, and David, uh, what's what's Damien's experience? So, Damien is the other side of the Mitch slash uh, Elijah coin, where he knows a lot of things about the supernatural world and credits more than is actually supernatural <laughs> to the supernatural. He thinks that whole thing, like he he's he is down with all kinds of magic. He has deep knowledge about the occult, deep knowledge about the supernatural, and also probably assigns things to the supernatural that are just coincidental or whatever. <laughs> so now I'm imagining that had I done the um, three card money thing for you, uh, that uh, Damien would have been like, Oh yeah, no. Clear, clearly, this person's doing magic. Fucking, I'm not. I'm not betting on someone who can just like actually change cards. I would probably have tried to counter the magic. <laughs> Is what probably would have happened. <laughs> I'm just imagining a bunch of three card money hustlers uh, in New York. They're just like. Just they just have salt in their hair <laughs> because of Damien. <laughs> like, mm. All right. Uh, so uh, the three of you uh, in the uh, Museum of Fine Art in Boston have an angry and apparently superhuman super Karen in front of you. She seems especially hostile to uh, Mitch and Helena. And surprisingly also uh, Damien who has not encountered this woman before. Um, 
Chuck, the security guard at the museum, is also getting a bit of an evil eye from her, uh, although not as much as you three. Um, and uh, Kazuki Jackson, uh, the one of the uh, curators of the museum, uh, is also getting uh, the stink eye, uh, presumably because uh, uh, Kazu tried uh, running interference on her for like an hour to keep her from uh, stealing <laughs> any of the museum's exhibits. Uh, and so you're you're all apparently in uh, great peril uh, from uh, something that uh, you don't have a lot of personal experience about. Uh, your lives are potentially on the line, uh, which is why we're going to cut to Elijah. <laughs> Cool. Okay. <laughs> Elijah Hi. is at a legal conference. Uh, there's a few standout members of the civil rights legal community giving speeches. Uh, what's like a legal topic or two that Elijah might have attended a uh, talk on? Oh, I, I think doing away with bail as a legal concept would certainly be, you know, bail justice, um, family reuniting, um, and obviously like um, trans rights in the carceral system um, and definitely like uh, immigration related topics as well. Um, basically anything that centers on uh, abuses in the, the carceral system is kind of their their jam. Awesome. Uh, so the, it's, it's been like uh, two, two, three days of uh, uh, legal conference. Uh, a lot of this has been in uh, relatively large uh, lecture halls. Well, relatively, like, Couple hundred people 70. kind of jam. Like, yeah, like oh, 50 okay. to 70 people. So like it's, okay. those are like the large uh, rooms for this conference. Mm -hmm. So it's not like uh, a mega conference where it right. takes over like right. an entire right. convention hall, uh, but it's 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 decent sized. Right. Uh, and a few uh, workshop rooms uh, where you have it as more like 10, 10 folks. Uh, where right. like there are almost the same amount of presenters as there are uh, people attending. <laughs> Jeffrey's smiling because he's probably been to those conferences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have two, mm -hmm. which is why yeah. I can fucking say this. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely, totally, one hundred percent. Uh, so like, it's. Yeah, it's, it's it's about lunch. Go, going and doing his thing. Yeah, gathering yeah. information, meeting people. You know. Yeah, you you have like as as many uh, business cards from people uh, <laughs> that you might uh, later want to follow up on. Right. Uh, and uh, I feel like I feel like Elijah might be the kind of person that like is one of the few smart enough to have like a Sharpie to like write on a business card who mm -hmm. the fuck this person is because otherwise you will forget. Yeah, uh, <laughs> absolutely. Yes. And yes. it's, it's lunch. Uh, so like there are a few uh, workshops that are running through lunch, but like mo most people are actually like, we, we should, we should eat some we should actually eat something because yes, this is this is day three of the legal conference. We're living out of bags in a hotel. Like this yep. is yep. nah. Fucking take that's, care of your body. <laughs> oh, in a hotel? Well, that's luxury. Um, <laughs> great. A bed, fantastic. Um, uh, so I guess the first thing that that he really would have to do is um, track down something that he can eat. Mm -hmm. um, which is always a, a fun thing when you have food restrictions. Um, and then look for somebody that he found interesting earlier on in the weekend, you know, or the conference to uh, go and uh, insinuate himself to. Sure. Um, for the sake of slight gamification here, come sure. on, load for me. Um, 
let's do a roll for uh, locating uh, a food truck or nearby restaurant uh, that can help you out. How, how, do, how are we rolling for this? Uh, so, um, the way, uh, speaking Pretend broadly, I'm a and speaking baby broadly, who and has speaking. never rolled for Scion before. <laughs> uh, so, um, the players get to pick which skills are are applicable, uh, and if you have a specialty that might be applicable, um, the specialty for the skill you roll does not get to apply. Um, the idea with specialties is that it gives you uh, an enhancement to um, other skills, uh, reflecting the expertise in one thing being applicable to other areas of your life. Uh, for example, if like uh, you have internal medicine uh, mm -hmm. as like a specialty or maybe uh, trauma medicine uh, and mm -hmm. you wanted to shoot somebody, uh, Got it. that that could be a thing. Uh, that is a mean thing. Uh, but yes, if you know the internal anatomy of somebody, you can target internal anatomy because you know what's there. Right. Uh, in this case. Uh, you're trying to find uh, something uh, that is nearby that you can uh, eat. So culture is probably going to be the uh, most applicable skill, but uh, medicine would also make sense because you right. would uh, have an idea of like what. Um, so what you can eat I also meant way. like mechanically, however, because I don't actually have physical dice. So. Oh, gotcha. Uh, so what I'm doing uh, is I'm using Google's dice roller uh, because it. it's just the fastest thing that I can do. Just like type, type dice roller into Google and mm -hmm. it will just show up with a uh, quick little thing. Uh, it'll default to a D6. Uh, if you click on a die, it gets rid of that die. And then beneath the thing, it has it. Uh, D4s through D20s and then just... Okay click on d10 as many d10. times as you have dice okay so if i all right so i'm just using the actual culture dice and um, then if i and then um i uh game master not game masters <laughs> story guides uh decide which uh attribute makes the most sense uh okay. depending on like how you're trying to go about it so like okay so yes. I'm going to use my my culture, but I do have an empathy uh, spec called Everyone Talks to the Rebbe. Rebbe, R-E-B-B-E, -E, is just a respected teacher and not a rabbi. So everyone talks to the Rebbe. So okay. to talk to people at the conference and around and see what uh, choices are available. Like if, if there's a halal food cart, it's probably going to like, it's probably going to cover the same ground, right? Mm -hmm. Sim at least similarly and I might have a better chance if there's particular like there's Mediterranean foods a lot of the time you're pretty good you know so just kind of asking around um hey do you know like I have to find some kosher ish choices um and uh use that there so there that's, all right that's my tactic uh so with that tactic um mm -hmm. it's gonna be uh, it's definitely going to be a social role as opposed to like uh, a mental role if you were trying to uh, uh, right. do like uh, a search on an app or something. Mm -hmm. um, and because of kind of the, because it seems like uh, you're tapping into the uh, everyone wants to talk to you bit, uh, mm -hmm. we'll go with presence. Okay. Presence culture and then uh, die for the spec. Uh, and my target is eight, right? Or, mm -hmm. okay, so I have two successes. Cool. Yeah, uh, you only did one, so Yay. yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, you go around, uh, going around the block and uh, up a bit, and you you find uh, a hello uh, food cart who that has uh, like their. They're pretty well set up. Like they're they're used to uh, having uh, Some crossover uh, there. Yeah. yeah, they're used to having Jewish patrons. So it's like, yeah, no, we we, we got you. Okay. Like you you don't want one of these or one of these, but like everything else is good. 
Fabulous. Okay, well, let's get some lunch and pay and tip well as per the huge and uh, then go and try to find somebody maybe sitting outside, you know, that um, uh, you talked to earlier in the conference and would like to talk to some more maybe. Yeah. Uh, where's my... Uh, so strike up a conversation um, about uh, different tactics for uh, getting rid of the uh, cash bail system and uh, uh, potentially like things that could possibly accomplish a similar thing as like an intermediate step, whether or not mm -hmm. uh, Elijah thinks that I mean, an intermediate step uh, is appropriate is entirely up to you. Uh, but like- it, It's something that they're passionate about, but not maybe as informed as they could be, which is part of the reason that they're here. Um, so I think probably they're doing a lot more listening than talking uh, to you know whoever is holding forth at this particular moment about their theories on what we could do. Yeah, I mean, lear learning more about the problem and how we can uh, address it uh, is uh, pretty important and also a, uh, a very useful thing uh, for a uh, lawyer to do. Uh, and as like a weird coincidence, like as you're like, uh, starting to crumple up uh, your uh, 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 food wrappers and like divide them up into like mm -hmm. the appropriate uh, uh, bins. Uh, you you feel like this almost like pull uh, uh, towards uh, this uh, uh, a building across the street. Like mm -hmm. you feel like you're, and, and it's not like an emotional pull or like a, a, a mental pull. Like you, you feel like it's almost as if something is breathing in and that breath is pulling you. And you're not the only one uh, who, who feels this. Like you, you see uh, the uh, menu on the food cart kind of swing in that direction. The the pool stops and you're a little confused. You, you look at um, uh, James, who was uh, the uh, uh, fellow uh, lawyer who was uh, uh, talking yeah. with you. And you have just enough time to think, what, what, what do you think? <laughs> uh, that's weird. <laughs> Uh, and, and actually, probably a quick double check of the power on their wheelchair battery, <laughs> because if they're going to go check something out, they're going to make sure they've got enough power to get back. Um, Elijah seems like uh, the uh, kind of person who'd have the wherewithal to. Oh yeah. Uh, but that's sit the next instinctive thing. But yes, yeah, no, that's... <laughs> that's the instinctive thing. Is like, how's how's my power? Okay, I'm good. Um, yeah. Uh, you're the uh, the last um, lecture you were at uh, had an outlet that was right next uh, cool. yep. right next to the accessible area. So you, you plugged yep. in your not at that that is the thing he thought good. is all I'm saying. <laughs> that's the thing he thought is like that's weird. How's my power? Okay, I'm good. Let's go check that out. I guess anyway. So yes, you feel like something breathe in, mm -hmm. a pause, and then. You feel a massive surge of air in the opposite direction, which is great because that gives you enough time to look away as a shower of glass washes over uh, everyone in the area. Surprise, this legal conference was in Boston. You're across the street from the Museum of Fine Art Cool. You're not board certified in Massachusetts, but Massachusetts and Washington uh, board associations uh, have reciprocity agreements. I looked this up. <laughs> I know you did. 
Uh, yeah, there seems like there's a uh, small hurricane going on inside of the uh, museum. And while you do not immediately know whether or not anyone inside is hurt, it blew glass like 50 feet. It seems really likely that someone's hurt. That's fair. Uh, actually, I was just looking where the ramps are. Mm -hmm. um, and it looks like there are, in fact, ramps on either side of the main entrance. So, so that's that is, that's where Elijah's heading is directly toward the thing uh, via the ramp off to one side. Um, go find awesome. out what's going on. Uh, uh, the, the rest of uh, uh, folks, uh, you're very aware of why that glass exploded across uh, the street. Uh, what 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 would you like to do about it? There there are a bunch of museum patrons, uh, some of which are just like holding their ears because that's a huge pressure change that just happened, and they may or may not have intact eardrums. Uh, at the very least, it was very loud, and they are not feeling good. Uh, also, uh, Chuck and Kazuki are uh, probably in mortal peril, uh, and so are you. Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, I, Jeffrey, would like, you're muted. Uh, I would like to, uh, one, flaunt that um, all of this is going on outside of what has been like affected by the actual wind impeccable just impeccable uh <laughs> it is that perfect poise after all um so i'm like so i still have the uh artifact under one arm like so mm -hmm. um and um knowing full well my strengths going uh i, I, I whatever that is i can like, I just start y yammering about how that's probably this, that, and the other thing. None of these assumptions are correct. Um, but uh, I start directing people towards the, towards the now shattered windows, like, get out of here, go, go. All right. Um... Uh, let's call that uh, persuasion and presence, unless you have a different skill that you would like to use. Uh, no, persuasion is fine. Persuasion okay. is fine, and presence is fine. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention, uh, I did tweak my character since the last session. Uh, I moved one dot from presence to composure, because in the playing of the character, I should be more composed than uh, two dots allow. So now they're both at three. Totally fair. Um, it is going to be difficulty one to get people to uh, get going. Uh, there is going to be a uh, two complication to get them going in the right direction because uh, this is a surprising and uh, traumatic incident for a lot of folks. And do People I still have the enhanced? Do I still have the uh, one enhancement from my perfect poise? Yep. Cool. Uh, and the target number is eight or seven. It is eight. Cool. I have then two successes. All right. Uh, so uh, that is enough to succeed. So I can buy, buy off the uh, complication. Yeah. Uh, so, like five people uh go where you're pointing and uh like two or three people uh start running and they're they're running into the wind which isn't getting them uh very far and you you're it's a little upsetting that they're trying to run into the wind because you're like that, that no no <laughs> get get away from that <laughs> We never should have let that tour of mimes in here. <laughs> uh, Jeffrey, Michaela. Uh, <laughs> what? 
What would your characters like to do? Well, um, if it's okay with everyone, I think Mitch is going to sort of stand up to face, um, we might as well just call her Karen, and, and just say, hey, 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 calm down, calm down. Someone's going to get hurt. Someone's going to get hurt. Um, I'm lining myself to up to basically just spend my next action doing a full defense in case she decides to use that big sword of hers. But I want to make sure her attention is on me and not on someone smaller. That, that strikes me as a uh, very Mitch kind of thing. Uh, all right. Uh, are, are you specifically trying to uh, encourage her to, st like, it sounds like you're trying to get her to stop. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying, what are you going to do with that? Stab me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because I've uh, read the headlines. Um, yeah. So yeah, no, it's just, I don't think it rises to the level of being even a sort of social action. It's, he's mostly just, bracing for the fact that he knows he's likely going to get hit soon. Okay, so so you are not specifically trying to influence her? No. no. Okay. Uh, because uh, she, she does have a uh, negative two attitude, uh, which, I mean, that's out of character knowledge, but. Mm -hmm. Really lucky I could raise her to indifferent yes. yeah <laughs> it it would uh uh helena or 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 thorn which i i don't actually know for which now one. uh it's elena uh with people who aren't part of the uh, activist circle and everything uh thorns is uh, the the battle name and uh Whatever I go with, uh, when when uh, going where I'm not supposed to do breaking stuff that I'm not supposed to break, basically. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Elena is. Uh, I mean, uh, I think they they are a strong person. They know that, and this current <laughs> basically threw me across the whole continent. Uh, and, uh, so, uh, I'm Someone not, does. I'm decently clever as dots go. So, uh, I think I'm going to throw an extinguisher at her <laughs> and see what happens. <laughs> all right. I, I'm a little bit angry about, uh, that all basically. A little yeah. salty. <laughs> I mean, uh, Actually, uh, give me a give me a roll to figure out if uh, Helena knows that not, not only is she no longer, or, or not only are they not in the alleyway, uh, that they're not in Seattle anymore. Uh, uh, I think I touched upon that with. Mitch in the very last moments of the oh, last Oh, right. Session. Gotcha. Yes. That's right. Right. Okay. Uh, then yes. Uh, <laughs> in that case, this is just uh, throwing stuff. Yeah, I'm not getting close because as far as I know for now, I'm an ordinary person with a strength that's, that belongs to an ordinary person. So I'm just throwing an extinguisher. <laughs> All right. Like a ordinary person does. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's probably going to be uh, athletics, unless you can athletics. think of uh, something uh, that's better for throwing a fire extinguisher at a uh, Super Karen. No, uh, I think athletics works. Ooh, and might. Uh, I would go with might or dexterity for this. I'll I'll let you uh, decide uh, which one's better because you you want to have more oomph behind the throw to get past the wind, but you, dex is also uh, applicable here. 
Yeah, uh, I'm not aiming right now. I'm just gonna. I I need to get this piece of metal in contact, uh, kinetic contact with her. So <laughs> basically, okay. It's I don't have a lot of athletics, but my balance is things a little. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three. Ooh. Uh, okay, nice. It's two successes. All right. Uh... Yeah, she is. She is not actively defending at the at the moment uh which is good for you uh bad for her uh she she's just kind of like got this massive haul of goodies and uh a bad attitude that's that's what uh uh she's working with um so yeah no uh this fire extinguisher comes up clocks her in the head and if you thought that uh, she looked um, offended before. <laughs> this is a new tier of uh, self-righteous indignation. Uh, and a few seconds ago, there was an amount of doubt as to which of the three of you uh, that she looked more upset about. There is no question now. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, uh, I have a, a few dots of a cult, and uh, so I probably figured that uh, she's a supernatural creature, but I'm also really angry and uh, uh, on the impulsive side of things. So uh, even me <laughs> chat for to calm things down. Uh, I'm sorry if I dispel that, but I, <laughs> I had to in this sense. I promise I'll. I'll work with my partners more as the adventure continues. But right, right now, I had to do an extinction. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> at this exact moment, uh, you they're not your partners. You you don't know that uh, they're exactly. uh, there to help you. Uh, I mean, uh, you know that Mitch is at the very least uh, nice, uh, but like that's that's also uh, Kazu. Uh, you you don't know anything about Damien. Uh, <laughs> Aside from the fact that it was very clear uh, that uh, Super Karen was uh, giving him uh, the, the evil eye as well. Uh, and, uh, about that time, uh, Elijah rolls up, sees a fire extinguisher fly up and hit this woman in, like, just square in the forehead. Uh, your immediate instinct is who's attacking this woman? And then you see. She's not standing on the ground and she has this S-shaped sword that's about three and a half feet long. It is not, it is not a small blade. Uh, and the, the wind is definitely coming off of her. So who the aggressor is in the situation is now... Uh, Barely obvious. Yeah. <laughs> I accept the consequences of my actions. <laughs> Uh, wow. Um, <laughs> you were just I, having lunch, and now I this. know I was just having lunch, and uh, I, I guess the thing to do is to move toward the people who are not the aggressor, uh, in this case. Um, because these chairs are a lot of things, but at least for the moment, quick isn't one of them. We'll have to have our We'll get there anyway. But yeah, I guess uh, heading over toward the people who are who are not the aggressors uh, is the the thing to do. Just with just kind of like a hey. Uh, all right. Uh, since uh, doesn't seem like anyone is uh, directly trying to talk her down, uh, and she has taken. Uh, one injury uh, from a fire extinguisher to the face. Uh, this is 
it's not necessarily gonna be combat, but it's not not combat. <laughs> right. This isn't actually a fight, but it's not not a fight. <laughs> uh, so for the sake of uh, getting things uh, in order, um, can folks roll whatever they think uh, the most applicable skill to what you're going to be doing, uh, plus cunning. Uh, this is for uh, initiative, uh, and we're just looking for total successes. Uh, and Do we add in... Um applicable uh specialties or anything like that or are we just it's oh uh, yeah if, if you have a specialty uh that is applicable to uh that okay. would be applicable to this uh yeah go go ahead and uh uh Can we tell you what we're gonna roll uh yes please uh uh, I am going to roll occult and cunning because okay. I want to be figuring out what the hell she's doing and how to prevent it or stop it. Persuasion with that everyone talks to the Rebe again because we like that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, there will be talking. Just needed a minute. the athletics for me because I imagine whatever it is is going to end up being physical. Two successes. Nice. I have four successes with three exploding dice. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Great. I'm I always do great roll. at initiative rolls. I'm going to roll athletics as well because I probably skim around the place and try to avoid uh, whatever trouble comes my way. It's zero for me. Uh, with a one, so it's technically a bunch. Uh, but I don't know if I don't. Botch initiative? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you can botch initiative. Yes, I think so. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think that. I don't think that counts as a botch or a, f a failure per se. I got a botch where a botch doesn't doesn't matter, so that's yeah. all right. <laughs> it's a good place for it. Uh, and wow, really? Okay. Uh, <laughs> a lot of ones. Uh, Amazing. That that is, however, also a ten. So. Yeah, I tried okay. to use the uh, dice roller thing, and all I rolled was fours. I'm like, I'm not using this. <laughs> it's, a, it's a problem with uh, digital dice. You, the dice don't technically exist, so you can't be mad at a specific one. Yeah. Uh, what did Elijah get for uh, initiative? One ten. That was it. Everything else was okay. Sorry, uh, pulling things okay. from, and also trying to make sure that uh, I'm not suffering from system bleed, because that that's a thing that happens to us. Because yeah, that's real. We work that's in real. a lot of systems, <laughs> uh, and it's even more fun when you're on different versions of story path, which are related but not the same mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah someone someday is gonna scream at me because i put a quip where quips aren't supposed to be so. <laughs> uh i think just yesterday uh i found out that a mechanic that i put into they came from the cyclops's cave uh required a mechanic that doesn't exist and they came from the Cyclops' cave, but it does exist and they came from Classified, which I also worked on. <laughs> yeah. I almost put Nax in the uh, Renity thing I'm working on, so there's that. Well, I we'll keep fix trying to call things Chronicles screen. of Darkness terms in Story Path because that's what I play all the time, so I'm with uh, you. Yeah. Uh, anyway. One other thing, yeah. Uh, so... Oh, sorry. Uh, no worries, no worries. Uh, uh, 
Uh, Damien uh, is going to go first. Damien is going to look at both the people trying to escape towards the wind and at uh, Elijah coming towards him and mutter under his breath, some motherfuckers always want to escape upwind. Um, and then I'm going, I've been holding onto that line for like 15 minutes, leave me alone. Amazing. Um, <laughs> um, and then I'm going to try and recall um, anything I know about um, when, uh like uh wind based stuff and like try and because i see that s shaped sword and i'm thinking it's got to be coming from that it can't be coming from her she's i'm just gonna say it a mean white lady it can't be coming from her it has to be coming from the sword um so uh i would like to roll to see what i know uh i am proposing occult intellect i do have a specialization in academics and magic though so i'm not sure if that helps here um wait uh what what's the academic specialty magic uh yeah go ahead go ahead and count that uh you're also gonna get a uh an additional uh, two enhancement on this. Uh, one, because uh, something uh, something in Damien's uh, um, background is relevant. And one, just, just because you're Wesley sniping it. So <laughs> like, uh, uh, that's, that's not an official mechanic, but so I think we or... established uh I have a knack that is just called audacity. Um, <laughs> and, um does my per and that's not does Damien's my perfect knack, poise that's apply knack. here? That's too. David's knack, yeah. Does my perfect poise also uh apply here? Um it does and it doesn't. Uh, it's going to essentially cancel out a uh, complication for having uh, wind in your face. Uh, okay, cool. So, I'm so gonna roll this yeah. with two enhancements waiting for me. Should I succeed? Um, and I do with three successes on dice plus the two enhancements, so five successes. Uh, you know. Uh, oh, and it's uh, uh, worth pointing out uh, to folks uh, both uh, playing the game and uh, to folks watching the stream uh, that uh, specialties provide uh, an enhancement, uh, uh, not a uh, uh, an extra die. So as long as you get at least one success, oh. you have okay. Uh, an additional success. Uh, I, was, I actually didn't I was, count the. Uh, I didn't yeah. count the uh, enhancement, so that's a three enhancement, so six successes. Sorry. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, and rules as written, uh, this will not let you go above a three enhancement. Uh, mm -hmm. And in general, that's a good advice for <laughs> uh, at least an origin game. Uh, once yeah, once you get the that. higher tiers and enhancements start stacking up and you want to show off your huge dice collection, you can do what you want. Uh, <laughs> but for an origin <laughs> game, three enhancements probably should probably be the max yeah. and you should yeah. probably also not throw massive complications at folks. Um, Buckets of dice. Or <clears throat> gallon jugs of dice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's almost like there was a header called buckets of dice in an upcoming book that someone should be looking for yeah no i hmm. I, I, I know it. you know <laughs> i know you know i'm i'm just explaining okay look guys i put a thing called buckets of dice in god so to get the joke you're gonna have to get god when it comes out anyway them's the rules them's the rules uh okay so you said uh six successes on that yep uh, 
Yes, uh, that uh, that sword uh, is ninety percent of where that wind is coming from. Uh, you are aware of uh, swords uh, exactly like this. Uh, you know that um, according to legend, it's not supposed to be, um, it's not supposed to be usable by ordinary humans. Uh, it's only people who have some kind of uh, divine spark within them. Um, not necessarily scions, but scions could probably uh, wield this. Um, you, you know that, uh, this, uh, uh, particular blade, uh, is from the, the, uh, Titan, uh, uh, Hudikan and, or, uh, Hudikan, if, uh, you have, uh, more of a, uh, Spanish background, uh, for, uh, this, uh, and this uh, hurricane is not to be confused uh, with uh, the Maya or Ka uh, uh, hurricane, who also exists uh, and is related, but not the same thing. Uh, this is specifically uh, the uh, Zemi or uh, uh, Taino uh, uh, hurricane or Urukan, again, if you have more of a Spanish background. Uh, and you, you know that uh, the reason why this uh, titan is considered a titan is because they're a fucking dick. <laughs> uh, they, they do not get along with anyone else uh, and are 100% uh, I don't want to say xenophobic because that's not accurate. They are Maybe genocide would be more an accurate term. Uh, not that might, it's probably, hmm, it might not. You know what, David, <laughs> is genocidal too far for this specific? Uh, uh, the, the term genocidal presumes a level of intellect I wouldn't put on her she's more of a so she's the daughter of the main uh titan of the semi um and she just uh being completely ruled by uh not kind emotions uh her whole deal is uh b b going on berserk rages in the form of a giant storm. Um, so uh, sh she is complicit in uh, genocidal stuff. Uh, she's one of the tools of uh, the main Titan who used her to send uh, Columbus towards the uh, islands. But other than that, uh, she, she's just a dick. It's not as deep as that. Okay, so. That's fair. So might, if unchecked, cause a genocide, but not trying to, she's just fucking a dick. That's her mom right trying to. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Damien knows that. <laughs> so, uh And uh, with that amount of knowledge, uh, Damien is reasonably sure that like, if, if he gets the sword out of her hand, uh, that the, the windstorm would probably just drop to basically nothing. Like it probably wouldn't drop to absolute, absolutely no wind, but like it would go down to like kind of a gentle breeze where it wouldn't it wouldn't do anything except for screw up science experiments. So quick question. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Sorry, and that was it's amazing. <clears throat> and like, it's a ridiculous question, but it must be asked. Um, was the throwing of a fire extinguishable fire extinguisher in any way subtle? Like we all saw that, right? That that happened. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay cool. Uh, I'm gonna point to Helena and go get that sword out of her hand. Uh, which is a a very good uh, a very good thing to a very good thing to say now. Uh, un unfortunately, uh, she goes next. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Uh, Michaela, uh, Helen is 100% getting targeted here. Uh, you can uh, take a uh, defensive act uh, if if you so choose. You probably should. Uh, <laughs> uh, this, no uh, this is going to be um, whichever um what uh, damn it uh resilience uh attribute uh is most applicable which is probably going to be stamina because this is a physical attack uh, and so um there we go uh so you there are defensive stunts uh, available uh, that you can buy with these successes to increase your defense uh, or to move so that uh, you are not, um, you are no longer uh, a valid target. Uh, I, I will say that she's just screaming and running at you and swinging a sword uh, at you. It is a pretty straightforward attack. Um, it the the winds blowing off of her are uh pretty powerful uh, and that's not necessarily a bad thing for you depending on what you're trying to do like uh if you wanted to dive for cover or something uh as long as that covers behind you or rather away from her uh that wind's actually going to help <laughs> Okay, uh, I registered Debbie, uh, Damian's uh, suggestion, but uh, right now, at least for my current uh, uh, moment in time, I think I'll dive uh, for cover and then maybe try to grab this word when it's actually my turn. Okay. Uh, how many uh, success, uh, successes uh, do you get on uh, your defense? And and I guess um, let's see more uh, stamina, just uh, mm -hmm. just stamina, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got another botch, but the the doesn't count either. I think, but no successes. Okay. Um, <laughs> so no successes. You don't get to buy any defensive stunts, but. Uh, Minimum defense is one, so you let's see. You got that going for you, uh, and she has she she gets uh, no successes, which is kind of surprising considering her dice pull. Uh, so she winds up this massive swing, and as the swords uh, crossing her body, in other words, once the sword is. Uh, in line to be affected uh, by her wind, it sort of pushes it a little bit further, and that sword just slashes right past you. Like it's it's close, and it gouges the shit out of the concrete. Uh, you you think that would have hurt like hell, uh, but it didn't hit you, so uh, you're 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 feeling you know a little safer than you were a second ago. Although <laughs> that almost hit you. So you're also feeling more imperiled than you were a second ago. It's a weird feeling. Uh, it's a new feeling because uh, you you said earlier that uh, Helena had been in fights, but not a life and death struggle, uh, which this very much is. And you're suddenly aware of that. Uh, uh, hmm. 
so in the last couple of seconds, I was going, you know, someone's going to get hurt, then she gets hit by a fire extinguisher. Then she charges, I imagine, a little bit past me to get to Helena. Mm -hmm. I'm going to miss this, but I'm going to try to tackle her. Okay. Um, <laughs> Amazing. I, I'm guessing that's close combat. It. That which uh, I do not have. The Titan ah. Tackler. Yeah, that that is uh, definitely going to be uh, close combat. Um, right. So basically, I'm just rolling my might. Um, or my decks. Warm grappler. My, um, um, because of uh, what she's doing and mm -hmm. the uh, weirdness uh, in terms of the field, uh, it, for folks not familiar with the story of Path system, uh, fields are basically where uh, encounters happen. Uh, so because of this weirdness, uh, I would let you take the best of might, decks, or cunning. Uh, might because the stronger you are, the better it is to take someone down. Dex because if you get someone uh, in a good spot, uh, it is much easier to take them down. Uh, technique beats strength for grappling 90% uh, of the time. I, I, I have a lot of bouts under my, <laughs> under my belt. Uh, but also, uh, cunning is very applicable, uh, both for grappling, because you should be smart, and also because she's swinging past you, and uh, wind's blowing, and if you are clever, you can use that to your advantage in the takedown. Okay. Well, I have so many options, and unsurprisingly, it still might. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Uh, let's see if I do anything. Wow. Two successes on four dice. Good job. Holy crap. Damn. Is, Good job. is that enough to make any contact with her? Uh, that is just barely enough, which means uh, you are now uh, grappling her. It is not enough uh, to take her down, but uh, she... She now has the significant limitation of having uh, this uh, beefcake of a man just. Oh, if only we all had those limitations. Okay. <laughs> Mitch Cuddles. Complication right? Mitch Cuddles. <laughs> uh, Elijah, uh, you are up next. Um, yeah. Uh... I, I guess I'm gonna have to go with it. Like, I don't think that we need to do this like generally in, in her direction, which is probably just gonna be hilariously bad. Like maybe we could maybe we can talk this through and 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 come to some sort of understanding what you're even here for. Like, I don't know what's going on, but sure, let's try it. Sure. Yeah. Uh that is gonna be uh an influence action, uh, you uh, are going to face a slightly uh, higher than normal difficulty because you think uh, circumstances. Yeah, you think <laughs> trying to talk a murderous titan out of doing things, it might be okay. Yeah. So walk me through uh, this dice pool again, like I'm a baby scion player who has only ever written things. Yeah. Uh, so. This is uh, specifically an influence action, which is part of the intrigue rules. Uh, I'm, I'm over elaborating because uh, it's yep. helpful to do so. And also because people watching this stream uh, might want to play Scion and might that's be interested why in I'm, how That's exactly why I'm prompting you to do so. I yeah. could look it up myself, but I'm prompting you to yeah. walk it out. Uh, so you, you are uh, essentially trying to uh, encourage behavior or rather discourage behavior, uh, right. which is a specific uh, type of influence action. Uh, right. And in this case, um, 
you are going to, uh, um, in this case, you are explicitly acting. Uh, you're specifically asking uh, mm -hmm. her to like calm down so that we can uh, try and talk this out. Uh, right. There is an option to try to do this covertly, uh, which uses subterfuge. Uh, but you're being very open about it. This is not uh, subterfuge right. at all. Uh, so this is going to be uh, persuasion, uh, unless you have a skill that you think is going to be more applicable. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, because um, you are trying to get her attention and to get her to like listen to your words um the uh your uh uh specialty uh everyone listens uh mm -hmm. uh is gonna be uh applicable here so you'll get a uh one enhancement off of that okay um the uh, attribute that you're going to use is probably going to be the better of presence or manipulation. Okay. Uh, and like I, either one of those is probably going to work. Uh, I'll go with manipulation. That's higher. So I'm, I have my persuasion dots plus my manipulation dots is what I'm rolling. And then I get an automatic success because of the applicable specialty. Yes. Cool. Um, and you get one success on dot. Right. Um, for anyone who's following along at home, the influence, well, obviously that's all of you, uh, the influence rules start on um, page 77 in mm -hmm. uh, Origin. Yes. So we're giving page references here. Okay, so I'm rolling seven dice. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the target uh, uses uh, whatever their dice pool is. Uh, and in okay. this case, it's her defense pool, which is uh not not super great uh but uh she gets uh an enhancement uh for uh attitude as well as um a a slight a sliding uh enhancement for the defense role depending on um how how much the intended act uh would be counter to her so like if uh, if Mitch had just like suplexed her or something, uh, or uh, if like <laughs> if there was a clear uh, danger right. besides uh, Mitch just sort of being like, no, please stop. Uh, sorry, I should be on camera. No, please stop. Uh, like that's <laughs> right. She doesn't like that, but it's not a direct threat. Uh, Got it. So, if if the action were clearly something that she does not like, would be perilous, uh, then that mm -hmm. would have like a plus three or perhaps higher uh, enhancement. As is, she just doesn't want to do it. <laughs> so uh, there's um, the uh, negative attitude uh, of two, and then uh, plus one because she just doesn't want to do it. Uh, okay. So, so I, I rolled uh, two successes, which means it's three total um, because of the thing. I actually got two tens, which is nice. nice. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Is it, are they supposed to explode in Scion or 10 supposed to explode? They do explode in Scion. Okay. Does Google doesn't do that though. So I guess. I uh, yeah. Google doesn't do it. Google assumes that more. you're playing D and D. Uh, right. So I should roll yes, two. And others. Minutes demonstration of the dnd yeah overall. all right hang on one second i'm gonna roll two more dice then and i got another 10 uh and i got a four that time okay so that was three three successes four. on dice yeah four four three successes on dice four total awesome yep uh all right uh which is good because uh she had a uh uh, three enhancement on that, so you nice. you definitely wanted four, or uh, or that would just not go your way. Uh, yeah, she she's still very upset and clearly would like to you know uh, fuck some shit up, but you you can see like her shoulders uh, pull back a little bit, and 
Uh, she's her sword arm is slightly less tense. Her I have everything in the fucking gift shop in like 20 bags hand is just as tight as before. Uh, cool. Okay. Uh, all right. You, no one has any idea whether or not she paid for all of that. <laughs> Great. Okay. Wonderful. What is uh, going on? <laughs> good question. <laughs> No one here has any answers. I was just. Uh, no? Helena. Okay. Uh, yeah. She seems less like she wants to stab you. Uh, she is still still giving you the fuck you look. Uh, oh, I, I, I reciprocated the look, so that's <laughs> okay. Uh, are are you taking uh, any I action? I think uh, I'm going to exploit this momentary drop in hostility to try and get the sword away. After all, as much as I can, I don't think I have the strength to wrestle it away given all things considered and the giant titan <laughs> mask monster yeah, in front of me so i'm just gonna try to um, push it away from her hand uh, basically uh so this is also gonna me, uh, be close to attack unless you have uh something that makes more sense no i think that works i'm I'm rolling that. Uh, I am using my strength to do so. If you're all right with me using my threat and then dexterity or not. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, both might and dex uh, would make a lot of sense for this. Uh, might because you're trying to overpower her grip. Uh, <laughs> dex yeah. because uh, you, you don't want to get cut by that sword. And. Uh, Okay. Grappling is about technique as much as it is uh, uh, raw strength. So okay, rolling. Well, I have a lot of dice on this, and I have uh, nine dice actually. <laughs> uh, but I rolled two successes. Okay, I'm not doing great <laughs> when it comes to rolls. Uh, it's surprise. Wow. Huh. Uh, it's surprisingly okay. Uh, she's a little distracted uh, by being slightly calmer than she was a second ago and also because uh there's a mitch on her back uh with a uh, bear hug and you you don't succeed in yanking it away from her but okay. uh you are both holding on to the sword and you you feel like she probably can't use it to attack right now. Like she still has a good grip on it. Um, you think that uh, she might be able to free uh, herself from uh, or free the blade from you uh, if she tries hard enough. But right now you're you're both on the sword and it's she. She would not be able to hurt someone unless someone did something really dumb. Okay, uh, unless she manages to swing, <laughs> swing me. Ew, with it's Damien's turn. <laughs> it is Damien's I wasn't. Turn. I wasn't going to say that, but you know, I'm glad you. Did. I'm actually not going to do something stupid. Uh, so I know of uh, this Titan, and I recognize this the sword, and. Uh, I want to uh, follow in Elijah's footsteps of uh, 
sort of uh, trying to I'm making many assumptions here. I am making the assumption that her attitude is being influenced by the sword and and that if I can break the influence from the sword something will happen. Um exactly what who knows but let's try and find out uh so i would like to say to her uh will not like to will say to her what you're feeling right now isn't you you this isn't your rage you don't feel this this is not who you are you can let this go you can let the anger go uh uh, I'm going to try uh, manipulation persuasion. Yeah, this uh, this sounds like um, shifting attitude. So mm -hmm. it's a specific uh, it's a specific uh, influence action, uh, yes. and oh wow, that difficulty is lower than I thought it was. Okay, yeah. It doesn't necessarily uh, change things uh, significant. Uh, no, it will change things significantly, but not necessarily make her uh, amenable to things. It just makes her uh, less hostile to things, uh, which am is mathematically I... the same thing. But yeah, I'm gonna say, uh, <laughs> am am I still using my uh, magic specialty? Uh, probably not. This this sounds like it's. Uh, just straight up uh, talking someone down from uh, bad actions. Uh, I am going to assume the enhancement from Perfect Poise is still there, though. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. You... You... It's just a difficulty, too. So... Uh, well... That's great because I have two successes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Well done. Uh, so, two successes on goddamn nine dice. Well, <laughs> better than no. So, target number get, eight right? is high. Target number eight is yeah. high. Uh, it mathematically precludes a lot of things. Uh, but two successes is enough to knock her attitude down by one it's still it's still negative she still doesn't like anyone here <laughs> but but also <laughs> negative one is better than negative two legit that, that's why uh, getting targets number seven in time because it's a big deal even if it's not flashy yeah. like other things mm -hmm. uh it is her turn uh she would like to no longer have uh, a Helena on her sword. Uh, uh -oh. So holding on to that I have sword. That I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, holding on to the sword is is pretty definitely going to be an opposed role. Um, your your preferred uh, skill of athletics, close combat. Uh, it's probably all that are gonna be applicable to this. Uh, and mm, Okay. Might or, might or dex, uh, whichever is higher for you. Um, I'll go with the big Elena uh, dice pool of Might plus uh, Close Combat again and okay. see if I perform any better. I think I do perform better this time because it's one, two, three, four, five, explode, uh, six. Nice. Six successes. Ah, nice. ah, ah. ah. That's bad. Uh, That's yeah, more like 
she would like to put both hands on the sword, but she still has like so many things. A hundred pounds of wine bottles and uh, <laughs> other uh, knickknacks in this hand. Uh, she's still strong as hell. Uh, she pulls up. Helena comes with the sword and then uh, her sword arm just comes right back down for like a split second. You thought that uh, she was going to uh, shake you free, but no, no, you're you're still on that. She's nice. She is death eyes on you. Let <laughs> go of oh, my no. sword. <laughs> she is. At the moment, if... I don't respond. I'm just uh, basically rolling the tongue into my mouth, trying to stay focused on whatever is going on. I'd like to have a weak response, but not, not right now. <laughs> when I'm being swimming, like, <laughs> so I'm there. Uh, yeah, no, she she's struggling. And she's doing a really good job, but uh, Helena's doing a better job. Uh, Mitch, uh, you you currently have uh, a solid uh, hold on uh, this lady. Well, <clears throat> this is where I get slightly better at what I do. So looking at the grapple rules in origin on page 117, um, while there are options to do damage, it's not really what I want to do, mm -hmm. but uh, there's an option to pin, which means that she will not get her defense against anybody else. And I'm thinking that might make it a bit easier to take the sword away from her. Yeah. So I'm, uh, yeah, basically Mitch is just sort of rearranging where his arms are to make sure that she can move even less, right? And let's see if I embarrass her. Heard of Suplex City. Oh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely not doing damage. No, no. So this is Might Plus Athletics. And we've got oh, good. one, two, three, four successes. Uh, it takes however much your defense is to do anything. Uh, and yeah, then I'll uh, see. She. And then it's an extra two to be able to pin. So, depends on what her defense is, whether I can um, actually manage to pin or whether it's just a very intense cuddle. Yeah, uh, her defense is uh, two. Uh, you okay. said you had four successes. Yeah. So yeah. just enough. That that is exactly what you need. Okay. Uh, Uh, a dumb, dumb roll or a uh, randomization, I guess. Uh, heads or tails, uh, uh, Jeffrey. Heads. Heads. Okay. Uh, do you want any of the wine bottles to break in this? <laughs> Yes. Yes, I do. It's out of character. I was thinking I should just rip open her gift bags and see what she does. But yeah, no, no, let's, let's I'm, just let one break. Uh, just one? Okay, yeah. Yeah, sure. one shatters. My Chardonnay! <laughs> if you thought she was mad about the sword. Priorities. Yeah. Uh, all right. Nice county. Uh, uh, Elijah, uh, this this situation uh, is less perilous than it was a moment ago. Uh, it's still it's still pretty weird. Uh, the the wind coming uh, off of her uh, is a bit subdued, uh, and that might just be because uh, she is face down on the ground uh, in a mess of uh, wine bottles, swords, and bodies. Sounds like spring break to me. Best party ever. 
<laughs> okay, so now that this looks a little bit more like 8 a.m. on the last day of spring break, does anybody want to maybe <laughs> fill me in a little, I guess? What is going on? It's still it turn to turning right now? Really? Right now? <laughs> Yeah, right now. Like, what? What is occurring? <laughs> Angry. <laughs> Sorry, it's she, so not she's the best still moment for me to explain. She's still hanging on to the sword at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I'm hanging to the sword as well. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think there is not actually an awful lot that the Elijah can do at this particular moment. So. I'm going to out. Uh, I turn real quick and go, bitch with evil sword. More on that later. Um, <laughs> and then, um, you just call me a bitch? I want to talk to your manager. Does it look like I work here? Um, so, Helena's okay, actually up Damien, next. <laughs> who's up next? Helena. Oh, my bad. Sorry. No worries. That's why initiative trackers are very useful because mm -hmm. uh, every, everyone uh, in an, a uh, uh, role playing game has cool things that they want to do. Uh, yep. Uh, Helena, uh, holding onto the sword is now slightly more difficult, uh, not mechanically, because the mechanics don't give a shit about this, but physically. In character, uh, you went from holding a sword up here to holding a sword down here, which is awkward. <laughs> yes, uh, that is true. Okay, the plan was to get the sword out of our hands, so I'm trying to resume that. Uh, All right. Um, yeah, uh, it's still gonna uh, be uh, athletics or close combat. Uh, and because of the weird angle, it is definitely going to be might, although I think you said that that was your preferred anyways. Mm -hmm. um, and okay, uh... I would impose uh, an increased difficulty because of the angle, but I would also give you uh, an enhancement because uh, since she's lower, you have a uh, better center of gravity to yank it uh, out of her hand because now she, now she can't change her center of gravity to uh, maintain control. So it's a wash. Uh, it's happening mechanically behind the scenes. Uh, okay, uh, let's roll and see what happens. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay. Uh, uh... This might seem that absurd, but I just uh, I just rolled five tens. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Well done, sir. Oh, uh, uh, let's reroll those. Uh, no, no more successes out of there, but I can't complain. <laughs> No, As a not, reminder not for folks, uh, in uh, Scion, uh, we're especially for this game, uh, we're looking for uh, a, an eight or higher on a D10. If you get a 10, you get to roll it again, and the first result still counts uh, as a success. Uh, and so uh, rolling five tens uh, is pretty fucking cool because then you get to roll that is again yeah uh, i think my my dice has heard me complaining about them earlier so they just turn around so yeah. wow. they felt the fear uh <laughs> they're gonna throw me she, out she also rolled it uh she also rolled a 10 which became another 10 uh which became a four uh for a total of three successes which is ordinarily pretty good but not good enough uh yeah you yank the sword out of her hand uh it that that wind goes from like standing in front of an industrial fan uh to standing in front of like one of those little pocket fans it's like 
powered by like two double A's and like has a little uh, blade like that big. Like, yeah. So like, it's still there. It's still coming off of her, but. Uh, but it's a little different now. Yeah. Uh, can I still move, right? Because I was right there. Sure. I'll scoop away from that. Scoot <laughs> <laughs> away. A nice quick streamy away. Yeah. Uh, before uh, we hop over uh, to Damien and probably uh, transition to uh, less uh, initiative based uh, encounter, uh, I'm going to take a quick break. We're back. Uh, now it's time to find out what the hell. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, so uh, it's Damien's turn, although we're probably dropping out of initiative uh, now that uh, no one's in mortal peril. Uh, so uh, there, there is a super Karen on the ground uh, who doesn't have a sword and is apparently much less super right now. Uh, I'm going to like squat near her and go are you done are you good are you done with all of this extraness i i want more sword back i want to that's talk to happening. a manager that's not happening so are you done with all this extraness or no i'm i'm fine i don't this is this is all so unnecessary. Is it though? You're just trying to cut someone. I'm not even sure where I am right now, but where I'm from, that's a thing. This is Boston. Yep, it's, it's a thing you're, here too. You're you're in you're in Boston. <laughs> uh, generally speaking. Right, not, what, Sword cutting is not recommended in Massachusetts either. I, I have it on good authority that that's generally illegal. I just look like, come and then turn back. You know, are you done? Because if you're not, I don't. I'm, I'm know. fine. I'm fine. I don't. I don't know gonna... what what everyone else is doing here, but I'm I'm fine. I'm I, I'm not a danger to anyone. honey um and then i uh free free empathy success she believes this she is wrong <laughs> yeah um Don't i say. look right. to uh <laughs> do they look supernaturally angry in the moment uh okay right now i am holding the big blade because uh not by the oh i my by bilingual i lack the word for where you keep the, this word in english right now sheath or scabbard the sheath so thank you it's okay uh when it gets, gets late <laughs> Italian slips in and I lose control of my English, sorry. <laughs> it's, to it's totally fine. <laughs> I don't know that the... word in Yiddish, so... <laughs> the, uh, this word by the blade. Actually, the not sharp part. Because I'm holding it uh, Oh, like the, you're picking it up by the, the hilt or the handle? Mm -hmm. Okay. The okay. hilt. Hilt is the hilt. word I was working for. Hilt. Gotcha. Perfect. Uh... But right now I'm holding it to like a prop. I'm not. Uh, I I suppose this is up to Iromi. I'm not uh, angry because of this word, right? Or no. I, you, no. You, okay. You feel, you feel fine. Okay. Okay. As then I'll just look okay. at Damien and say, and drop this word like this, because it, boom, um, it clanks on the pavement like that, and probably having the one. Noise. Having the one dot in might, is this going to be a struggle to pick up this sword? No. You, it, I, I mean, it it's, it's heavy, but it's not like supernaturally so. Does, does she have a like sheath on her, a scabbard? I don't know, any sort of 
sword based uh, receptacle other than us. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's amazing. I adore you, David. That was incredible. Sword based receptacle. Uh, yeah, yeah. She uh, she has a scabbard on her. Uh, it, uh, it looks um, kind of like uh, an ugly leather bag uh, across her back. Um, anyone with at least three dots in close combat knows that uh, drawing a sword from your back is fucking awful and you shouldn't do it. Uh, but that's that's where she had it. Uh, also, it don't looks like that. an ugly leather bag because the sword is S-shaped and that necessitates a really weird looking scabbard. Uh, I'm going to try and get the scabbard off of her. Uh, she she protests, but she can't really do a whole lot about it. And I'm going to put the said sword in the aforementioned scabbard. Does the residual wind dissipate? Still, still coming off of her. Uh, oh, okay, you. You're pretty sure that uh, it's it's just her. Uh, it's not particularly strong at this point, uh, mm -hmm. but it still exists, and it is definitely just her. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, so she is at least supernatural enough to wield the, the sword and have wind powers of her own. Then. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna walk away from her. My visions is really weird right now. I have a skull-shaped rock in one arm and a giant <laughs> sword in the other. This is weird, y'all. <laughs> Just so y'all know, this is what's happening in case we forgot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, glad, is... I'm glad you brought that up because I I kind of forgot that you didn't have anywhere to put <laughs> that artifact. I haven't put it down it yet either. Your... Yeah. And, and if she said... And if she kept up the fight, my intent was to hit her with it. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, right, now that you remind me, I'll go pick up the art supplies that my friend sent to me to get, that traveled with me across the whole continent. <laughs> <laughs> you also think that's gonna be awesome. Uh, amazing. <laughs> yeah, you, so. Yeah, so if I can, um, <laughs> just want to say to her, look, are you, are you, if I let you up, are you going to be okay? I'm, I'm fine. I don't, I don't know what any of your problems are. I, I know, but look, I, I was just here looking for something nice to take home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I, I found this stuff. Uh, one of the bottles is broken. Uh, that sword is mine, and I. Is it though? Uh, where'd you get it? I brought it from home. You brought a giant sword with some sort of like supernatural fart power from home to the museum. Yes. Cool. Why? I don't have to explain myself to you. Okay. okay. Well. Giant guy carrying you says otherwise, go. Yeah. Um, I'm just, so I am actually, I'm going to try to just keep a hold of her, but at least let her stand up and have a bit of dignity. Um, Okay. But uh, what if it comes to it? I know that I can throw her about 30 feet. So, um, and we've got a broken window nearby. So she just goes straight out there. Heat a bitch. Um, <laughs> but, but I'm just, I know, I know things got a bit tense. Things got a bit tense, but there's, there's this, um, th there's this like mantra that, that I learned a while back and, and it, it helps me at times like this. We just have to take deep breath. And you just have to say, live 
laugh, love. Okay, L listen. I'm broken. <laughs> I'm broken. This, this is a nice part of Boston, so we have very little time before the cops show up. And you did just unsheath a weapon and start swinging it around in the middle of a museum. So if you would like some assistance uh from perhaps legal representation before the police get here you could try to explain yourself to me and tell me i'm your lawyer and then i can be on your side when the cops show up it'll probably like mess things up for all of your brunch buddies to see you get arrested on the news so you tell me if you want my help or not it's entirely up to you uh, I have the sudden realization that all of that is true, but I am a brown man in Boston carrying a giant sword. I need to do something with this sword. Uh, is there any sort of like place I can like shove this somewhere, hide it? Is there like a cubby system somewhere? Uh, there's Maybe no lock cubby off. looking system. Uh, there is, however, a uh, very confused uh, security guard who has really fucked up hair now because of the wind. Uh, um, and it sounds like uh, Elijah's going with an influence action, and it also sounds yes. like. Um, Mitch is providing uh, some assistance to that. Um, Either way. Yeah, so if there can be a teamwork thing where I make my role and add, I think it's enhancement to Elijah's mm -hmm. role. Yeah. Okay. Um, so with Mitch's role, it sounds like it's probably more culture than persuasion, although I mean, or or even empathy. Uh, oh. And any of those three would make sense if you have okay. a compelling argument for something else. Uh, I'll definitely hear that. No, I'll, uh, I'll take I'll take empathy. Um, they're the same persuasion and empathy for me. And I have an academic bluster specialty in persuasion, so either way oh, I yeah. go, yeah. I've got what I feel like is an applicable. Uh, spec to to give that enhancement so i'm i'm happy with uh whatever works for um jeffrey um uh, em empathy is, okay sorry i was just gonna say empathy is good for me and okay let's rock and roll um in terms of uh it's a it's a social sort presence manipulation i would generally do manipulation but you know on this one yeah because um, he's like playing on her uh, insecurities and and or at least her perceived weak points, I guess, is a way to to put it. Yeah. To try to get her to uh, to calm the f down. Yeah, manipulation sounds like it's probably the most applicable uh, for both of you. Although, uh, I would also accept uh, presence just because um, Mitch is uh, a presence. Yeah, but like Mitch is presenting mm -hmm. himself as like, hey, yeah. I, I, I'm like you. I'm just, right. you know, not trying yep. to kill anybody. And yep. uh, Elijah, uh, he's he's like, listen to me. I am a lawyer. <laughs> mm hmm. Yes. Let me help you. All right. So let's see here. That is seven. I have two tens. Hooray! What the? My dice like me today. You know me. A little. And then one more success. So that's three plus my uh, specialty enhancement is four plus whatever uh, I, the golden retriever brings to the table. Yeah, I got four successes. Uh, I think three is the most that I can pass on mm -hmm. to someone else. So yeah. have another three. So that's six total. Nice, nice. Yeah. All right. Uh, she does not have a great defense. Uh, she did, however, roll uh, tens, uh, getting uh, three. Uh, but that that handily beats her. Uh, right. 
yes. Uh, I would love to keep this out of the papers and uh, the uh, uh, and I right, and right. I'm not thrilled with me not having my sword, but if uh, maybe the uh, security could hold on to it and then I, I get it back uh, when when this is all resolved, then uh, that, that would be great. Uh, we'll do our best, uh, definitely. Um, my we'll name is Elijah. Get, we'll try and get this back to you when this all, you know, blows over. Count on it! I'll scream from the other side of the room. I'm, ba I'm basically just trying to figure out how to get back home because I'm still trying right. to process everything right now. So sorry for the, the interruption. No, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, my name is Elijah Khan, and grab a business card and like roll on over and kind of go around the wine on the floor. Now, I, I'm your lawyer now, okay? So uh, the cops will probably be showing up here very fast. Um, do not say anything to them, um, but do give me your name. Like, I mean nothing. Don't say anything to them ever without me present here. But I, I, I do need your name, Karen on the floor. Karen on the floor. <laughs> okay, did not actually say that out loud. I was just indicating uh, who that was being said to. Yes, uh, my my name is Car uh, Karen Jameson, and I uh, yes, I I am greatly appreciative of uh, your your legal help. Okay. Uh, all right, awesome. Now we're getting somewhere. And um, you, you do hear uh, sirens. Uh, right. You guys should should probably out like for just a second. Let me stay with here with her and, and we'll be fine. Um, just, uh, I'll, you know, I'll talk to you in like five minutes, but seriously, like go be in the bathroom, go be anywhere but here for like two seconds. Thumbs up. Uh, I walk over to the security guard. I'll put my hand on their back. Go, listen, walk with me, talk with me. Uh, let's uh, do something with this blade. Uh, get, get, yeah, I'm... Uh, that. Does this happen to you a lot? You, you seem like re really calm. Uh, did, Uh, yeah, yeah. Let, uh, let's uh, go. Fucks up all the time. Uh, here's the <laughs> thing. Um, we are not giving this back to her. Uh, so store it somewhere. Uh, I'll have somebody come get it. Uh, here's my card. I do the like card flip thing again where like a card just appears. Uh, and like someone call this number. Someone will call you back eventually. They'll come get the sword for me. Don't worry about it. And just a little something between you and me, just um, as a thank you for helping me in this matter. Uh, do I have to roll for this? No. If so, I, I do have a speciality in uh, <laughs> bribery and glad handing. Amazing. Once again, I'm Amazing. not a good person. <laughs> oh no i love it i love it <laughs> yeah uh all yeah i have got I've got plenty of excuse me I've got plenty of security uh uh lockers uh, i can put this in uh and i mean don't don't tell her that i said this but i don't want to give her the sword back either i mean that facilities is going to be in here facilities is going to probably take a whole month and that's that's going to be good for facilities getting paid but it's not going to be good for the museum or no this is this is the worst uh and keep chuck takes a sword from you uh, and uh you're muted david you're muted you're, you're muted david 
my bad. Uh, what I said was, uh, I give him my card. I shake his hand. When my hand comes away, there's six hundred dollar bills in his hand. <laughs> uh, that, that, uh, that, thank you. I'll 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 make sure that uh, the uh, museum and uh, everyone else uh, gets uh, uh, taken care of because this is not going to be great for us. Uh, I really appreciate that. No problem. Say no more. And then I go and uh, find somewhere else to be. Uh, uh, Mitch, I get... uh, you're... Oh, sorry. Uh, no, no, no. Jackson. That's good. We're good. Okay. Uh, uh, Mitch, uh, your, your friend Kazu uh, is still here and uh, has... No, aw, mm -hmm. <laughs> has has no uh, serious injuries, but uh, looks at least uh, more put out and traumatized than he did like five minutes ago. Cars, <laughs> uh, cars. Oh, by the way, I will actually let go of Karen um, and. Uh, Sort of step back, you know, dust off your shoulders or something. Okay, um, Cos, you 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 okay? You okay? Because uh, look around for Helena in all of this. You want to? I think the cafe is open. You want to? You want to get a coffee? Yeah. Cos, is the cafe I mean, open? I, I definitely don't want to think about. All, all, oh, oh yeah, too much, too much for right now, man. I, I mean, look at this. Look at the wall. Oh, in the glass and the stampede of people. But you know, this don't got but, hurt. That we know of right now, I. Uh, Kazu uh, goes. Uh, like ducks into uh um ducks past uh an exhibit line uh pulls a clipboard and then goes with you i i don't have enough incident reports for this that's right we can, we can work it out and yeah i'll sort of wave over to helena it's like um you you want to come too uh okay right now i'm probably the, the idea was to sort things out, be strong, be keep going. I'm probably sitting against a pedestal with no fucking idea what's going on or <laughs> no, what how to get back home. So the offer to take coffee, uh, it's quite a step, uh, quite welcome. I'll just stand up and say yes, please. Thank you. Good, good. I'm Mitch, by the way. Hello. This is Kazu. Nice to meet you. <clears throat> He's a good guy. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we'll just move off of the scene. <laughs> Absolutely. Just waiting this one out because, like, the cops are gonna show up. So yeah, the, you know, and uh, all her stuff. I'm assuming is. I mean, is everything in a muse museum is like on camera, right? Mm -hmm. So like, there's not really a lot of like, let's get out of here, and they just won't see you or whatever. We're just gonna wait this one out. Um yeah. Uh the cops show up. Uh um sounds like uh Mitch Damien and Helena are uh a little bit uh, around the corner uh getting coffee and uh not not getting interviewed by the cops mm -hmm. yeah uh and um roll up have the guns out as they come in and then just sort of look around confused and then holster and go and hi officers anyone no Hello. i think we're uh, we're fine. Everything's good here. It was just a 
freak air conditioning thing that happened. Lots of air pushed out and a little broken glass. Nothing to worry about. Uh, that's probably subterfuge. <laughs> yeah, I would think. Um, <laughs> probably subterfuge and manipulation. Yeah, uh, so we'll go with that academic bluster again. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it was a yeah. thing with the air pressure and um some stuff. And you know, this is not the first time that Elijah has lied to the cops by far. <laughs> so we'll just uh let's see here, get our dice together. At seven, roll them. Uh two successes, one of which is a ten. And no additional successes from re-rolling that 10, so that makes three. Uh, these cops have terrible social defense. <laughs> <laughs> they buy it. Uh, <laughs> like, huh. So just like... Yeah, it, it was really weird well yeah Do you think this is I'm, something that could happen with uh home uh air conditioning because i you know I have an I air would, conditioner at home uh, i i would definitely check with your your hvac guy for, for sure i mean i i couldn't tell you i don't think that a home set would be like that powerful i mean like, you've got to think about like the air conditioning has got to occur here for the artifacts but i mean you i i would definitely check with your hvac guy for sure I, I had no, I had no idea that. Yeah, it's really wild. A lot of places have HVAC. I. Uh... Yeah, yeah, it's really strange. But listen, it's it's been a little upsetting for uh for my client here, and we were just meeting to talk about something that's confidential. So do you mind if I take her to go get a coffee and kind of calm her down? I don't. I know the alarms went off, but I think I think we're probably good here. Yeah, I, I mean, I, uh, we, we might, we might have questions, so don't, don't, don't sure, go too far. Sure, here's, here's my card. You can contact me if you need to talk to either one of us. Thank you so much, officer. You have a great day. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> Just like spin the wheelchair, head for the cafe. Come on, let's go get a coffee. We need to chat. Yeah, the. Uh... The police uh, stay outside uh, the museum for a while, writing up things that uh, are probably just mostly complete uh, supposition based on lies. So, mm -hmm. as uh, per the usual, <laughs> as per the usual. <laughs> Look, I live in Portland, <laughs> so that's all I have to say. Anyway. So I'm um, going to try to steer her into the coffee shop um, and just be like, okay, it's been a weird day for you. I totally get that. Let's sit down, get something to drink. You can kind of walk me through what happened and uh, we'll get this taken care of for you so that it doesn't show up on the news and you don't have any difficulty. You know, I'm sure you've got kids. You don't want them seeing their mom on the news and their friends seeing their mom on the news. It's just it's very stressful for everybody. So let's, let's, how, what kind of coffee you like? What can I get, get you? It's my treat. Uh, double soy latte with half pump vanilla, quarter cup, uh, almond mm -hmm. uh one one third of a cup uh one third uh, of a mm -hmm. pump of uh uh agave syrup mm -hmm. uh not non non-gmo uh mm -hmm. not... oh yeah no they're good okay any that that's good all right yeah, let me get that for I, you. Uh, yeah I don't know. Okay, came go ahead and grab me. a seat. We'll we'll sit. We'll talk in a minute. Let me just go get your coffee. You'll feel much better, you know, once you've had something to drink and sat down for a second. And then we'll we'll talk this all out. The the breeze coming off of her uh, dies to nothing. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, I would venture to say that having to deal with people in a lawyerly fashion that like being able to remember silly, ridiculous coffee orders is probably within his purview. Yeah. Uh, and, and, I, and I mean the generalized purview, not the, you know, scion type <laughs> purview. Um, but uh, so he's going to go and get her coffee and then also a, uh, you know, suitably goofy ass coffee for himself um, and uh, kind of gesture the other people who are like dealing swords and things to kind of join them um because i get you guys did go into the the cafe if i remember correctly mm -hmm. um and return with her coffee and um his own and if you guys want anything i'm i'm happy to to buy you a coffee let's uh let's see if we can talk this out figure out what's going on here yeah get a double espresso and a croissant I'll and just yeah. take something okay. with uh, a little bit of milk in there, and I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Um, I, I don't really drink coffee. It's just a thing people say. Um, <laughs> but I'm good. I'm good. Are you sure? I can't. Like, there's plenty of stuff that has no caffeine in it. Like, I can get you something, like, if you want a water or juice or something. Oh, water. Water. Fantastic. Gotta stay hydrated. Yeah. Yeah. So they'll drop off their coffees go get the rest of them definitely pay for everything every grab a couple extra croissants and stuff in case people are hungry bring them all back so what happened i don't i don't know what came over me i i just i really felt like i needed to have something uh like Okay. like from from the museum and then okay. uh they it i don't even know why i went to the museum i wasn't planning on it i just mm -hmm. i wanted something there i didn't i didn't know what it was uh but okay. the when when i when i couldn't have it then like I felt really mad and angry and like I, I wanted okay. I wanted to fight and uh for for my own personal protection, uh some sometimes I, I do carry my sword and okay. uh mm -hmm. it, it's people usually can't see it and people who can see it uh they I don't know, they they usually have some kind of abilities like me so i i haven't had good experiences with uh people who can see the sword and you you four can so mm -hmm. uh, i thought you were going to hurt me and uh, uh Yeah, so so in Massachusetts, um, it it's generally not legal to carry outside of your home uh, a knife that's longer than an inch and a half to two inches. But you're saying that this is a sword that people normally don't see. I'm just trying to figure out your any potential legal fallback uh, once my bluff and bluster with the cops leads in case they end up actually looking at the the footage. So you, are you telling me you think this sword is not going to show up on the museum's cameras? Is that the thing that we're getting at here? I I don't. How think about I've the ever... hunk of the concrete that you cut out? How about that? Are they going to see that? Oh yeah, the, the the things that get cut with the sword are are definitely cut. Uh, Have you cut things with the sword before? I mean, not not people. You are aware about to cut me in half. It's a miracle you didn't take me with that. I. It's not like me, okay? I. I'm. I'm sorry. I. I. I didn't. I. Yes. I. I. I did do that. 
and and I'm sorry. And yeah, that's... I know. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm just under a lot of pressure. Okay, I'm. I don't. I'm not a bad person. I. Mm -hmm. That's a tissue. Nobody's saying. Nobody's nobody's saying that you are. I'm just trying to figure out what your potential liability in this situation is and how I can help you out of it. My face um, looks like I'm definitely saying that she is. <laughs> I have a specialty in poker face for fucking reason. Um, just keep that. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it, okay. It, okay. It, it's relevant. So, <laughs> right. Yeah. So to Helena, it's like, are, are you interested in pressing charges or can we resolve this another way i'm not gonna be here and press charges i okay great i don't so really care i just right. was thrown right. by this lady and i'm, I'm still hurting basically because i'm the one with the, the one injury right now oh you actually visibly injured yeah. oh i missed yeah, that part. Bit. Okay. yeah it happened in the last uh during the last session gotcha okay um in in uh, what in what way are you visibly give... injured did you get like hit or cut or like i, I was probably just bruised around gotcha yeah, bruised. okay yeah. so so probably not in a way that elijah could actually see because you're like mm -hmm. if you're thrown it's probably like you've got bruises under your clothes yeah. kind of thing okay cool Absolutely. i was like that would uh... be a very different conversation yeah. <laughs> okay uh okay actually uh can i get um, integrity and uh intellect from helena okay it's six uh or or culture uh integrity or culture uh both I, either one would work okay let's see uh, put, 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 uh, two successes The woman who threw you looks identical, but was not wearing what this Karen is wearing. Okay. Like same exact, same exact face, same exact haircut, different clothing. Okay, it makes sense that in the heat of the moment, that wasn't my priority to look at, but uh, now I figure this, and uh, I'll just stop mid-sentence and process the thing into my mind and say okay you know what we're good i'm good <laughs> enough to call this a day and figure it out uh, well it's all right okay <laughs> let's do it i'll get back to my cup of coffee and i'm probably trying to sleep uh, uh, a soda from uh little bit of a place behind the counter like that and uh, drink both things at the same time and it's an horrible idea i know <laughs> it does not taste i'm good. just a little bit distressed more than i'd like to let on right now yeah you like one one more piece slid into place for you and now <laughs> this thing this whole thing seems even weirder uh yeah. which things getting slightly more calm but weirder is a good place to leave off uh for uh this this episode uh so uh nice it's it's been <laughs> loads of fun uh let's go around real fast uh to um tell folks uh who you are uh who you've been playing and where they can find more stuff uh from you uh since uh michaela's already up uh michaela uh who are you what where can they find your cool stuff? Uh, hello, I'm Michele. I'm a, a Onyx Path freelancer and developer. Uh, I think that by the time this airs, we are still on Kickstarter for they came from the Cyclopsis Cave and they, they came from Classified, which are our cinematic uh, spy movies and fantasy movies games. You can uh, can check them out. They are really fun. <laughs> back, one, back one, back both anything that works for you and uh, giving them a look because uh, 
we did uh, the feedback we got so far uh, it's really great and people who check the line for the first time thanks to those that are falling in love with that so give them a chance i'd appreciate it and that's me awesome uh spider i am spider b perry and i am an onyx path uh, writer i think it'd be easier to list the lines i haven't written for at this point <laughs> than the ones that i have um, you can find me on social media anywhere at uh, except for instagram it's the only place where i don't have va spider v as in victor a is an apple spider um, including my Patreon and my day job uh, is Nerdy Kepi. We make quality queerware. You can find us at nerdykepi.com. And if you can't figure out how to spell that, we're also at ithaspockets.gay. Awesome. Thanks. Uh, David, uh, who are you? Uh, where can they find your stuff? Uh, I'm David. I've been playing Damien De La Cruz. Um, I am a developer for Onyx Path now. I write on a lot of the lines. Again, it's one of those, it'd be easier to say what I haven't mm -hmm. written on yet. Uh, I also work for uh, Spider at uh, Nerdy Kepi. So there's that too. Um, you mm -hmm. can find me on Twitter at The Inked Knight or on Patreon at uh, patreon.com slash Ink Stain Studios. Awesome. Uh, Jeffrey's internet has uh, just died, uh, but uh, Jeffrey was playing Mitch. Uh, Jeffrey is awesome. Uh, Jeffrey is a writer uh, and uh, hopefully a co-developer on a Scion book in the very near future. Uh, I, I'm Hiro Mikoto, uh, they, them. I am the uh, Scion Online developer uh, and uh, you can find me on uh, TikTok and Twitter at Hiro Mikoto, or at Hiro Mikoto which is right here, uh, also at hiromikoto.com. Uh, it's been loads of fun and, uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, stay safe, Goodbye. get, treat, treat the pandemic seriously. Uh, wear your mask. <laughs> yep. Bye. Bye. Bye.